Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a good day out there today and really appreciate you guys uh, just taking a little bit of time out of your day to watch the videos, much appreciated. And today I got a real good tip for you. I'm gonna share with you guys a modification that I do to my drop shot weights that not only will help you get more bites, it will help you not lose as many sinkers and it's just a really good tip to know. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. Um, just real quick, I just wanna remind everybody if you hadn't had a chance, Go over at fishthemoment.com, check out our lake map breakdowns. Johnny and I have got fall lake map breakdowns all across the country. Whether you're fishing offshore, shallow, we got a little bit of everything. We got map breakdowns for most all of the major lakes across the country, all four seasons, not just fall, but all four seasons. And also we build personal map breakdowns uh, for, for people just individually. If you guys have a small lake that you like to fish we break it down if you guys got a tournament coming up we can break it down but uh, go over and check them out at fishthemoment.com fishthemoment.com in addition to all the other cool stuff on the site okay let's get into this uh, drop shot weight deal modification and first of all let's talk a little bit about the drop shots um, there's two different styles basically you have this the cylinder style like this and then you have the, the round one like that. Those are the two variations that you have. These are lead. <clears throat> um, they make tungsten sinkers, but I highly would, uh, I, I, unless you're just loaded and you have a lot of money, I wouldn't suggest them because they're super expensive and you do lose a lot of drop shot weights depending upon the type of cover you're fishing and the pound test that you're using. So I think you can get by with lead just fine. No problem on that. One thing that you're going to find um, that if you're using the cylinder type sinkers like this, this is what I like to use more if I'm vertical fishing for suspended fish where I don't have a lot of snaggy stuff um, because these will get hung up in rocks pretty easy. But the ball sinkers will come through the rocks a little bit easier. So if I'm fishing on the bottom, a lot of times I'll use the ball sinker. But anyway, the modification I want to show you guys today is based upon not losing these things because... It doesn't matter if you're using a ball or a cylinder uh, type sinker. If you're fishing around an area that has a lot of rocks, whether it be riprap, you know, chunk rock banks, that type of stuff, at times you're going to get these things caught up in, that, in those rocks and you're going to break them off. And one of the big reasons that you break off a lot of drop shot weights is you can see there, if you I'll hold it real close there, I'll put my hand back against it there. You can see how um, tight that is as far as the, the, the area that you put your line in there. And what happens is you put your line through that larger spot and then you push it up in there and crimp it in the tight together uh, areas right there. And what happens is when you, when you push your line up into that tight area there, that will damage your line because it crimps it. A lot of people just tie a knot at the end of their line. They put it through there cinch it up tight in that tight area like there but what happens is with with that pinching that in there that's going to you know cause an abrasion on your line and that's why you lose a lot of drop shot sinkers so the modification i'm going to show you guys here is take your drop shot uh weight like that i'm trying to get it where you can see here and then take a you know a small pair of scissors or something and simply go in or a knife and go in and just start opening this thing up over the top there and I'm going to open it up pretty wide so I'm going to show you the difference here in the two and uh goes over the modification a little bit here okay here again is the one stock out of the out of the package like that see how tight it is here's the one that I just modified let me get it up there See, I got it opened up like that. I'm trying to hold it back where you can see it. Basically just took it and opened up this whole area right here um, compared to that like that, as you can see. Now what happens is now, since I've got this thing opened up like that, all I do is just tie an overhand knot, like I just, you know, tie, you know, two half hitches across the top of there. And since it's opened up like that, it won't, uh, there's nothing there to pinch and abrase your line makes a big difference you know i ever since i started doing that i've lost half the sinkers that i used to lose on there simply because uh, you just you know you, you're not fraying your line your, your line is a lot more free to move around like that but anyway guys that's just a quick tip um that you know just something to save you some sinkers and uh, save you a little bit of frustration to having to tie a lot of times on there 
So I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll be back soon with another one. See ya.